Thank you very much for the kind words in the end. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I want to do a um, presentation with my mobile only. So if this doesn't work, I'm standing here basically naked. So let's pray that this thing is working. And first thing, since uh, it's the first session after a launch, uh, I thought, you know, let's do something to wake up. And music is a good thing to fall asleep, but also to wake up. I want to play you a track that we have done um, a while ago, actually, with, uh, with an artist who's actually, I think, based here in, in Berlin, and he's called Jimmy Edgar. And so if things yeah, work now, they do. This is the interface. Now I can play an instrument. Now it's grooving. Stop it. I feel so complex. I wanna see something. I think you got the idea. <laughs> so it, it would have been much better if Jimmy Edgar would have done this, yeah, and of course, but um, anyways, we developed this thing, so you have to do these kind of things as well, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, um, this is music, and this is also using this um, device here, this platform, um, as an interface. And what we're using is touch, pressing these things here, and... Um, and the accelerometer by doing this, this, moving it up, down, panning left, right, basically controlling all the synthesizers like that. And um, in the end, it's, um, it's an interaction model that many are using now. In the games, um, music instruments, you know, it's basically what we expect from a device like this, right? I mean, Angry Birds, you have touch, uh, you know, there's um, um, stuff like High Noon, where you're actually using the accelerometer. So that's all exciting stuff. But we were thinking if we could take it a bit further. And, um, and the reason for taking it further, I want to show that to you, which is some of you might have a very similar problem that I'm having with this device, which is I am actually having quite a lot of songs on my device. This is like my iTunes uh, music player thing, yeah? A lot of stuff on there. This is all my albums on it. And, um, and you know, it's a lot. And it's difficult to pick the right one. And I can now, of course, think, all right, how do I feel? Mm, I feel good, bad, whatever. I feel excited. Let's play um, Daft Punk. That gives me whatever, 10 to 20 songs of Daft Punk, then I have to choose something else. That's not good. Alternatively, I can create a playlist here, but playlists are really hard to maintain. Like I get new music, I buy new music, it's not in the playlist, I have to add it to the playlist manually, and also to create a playlist on these things is also a lot of work. So, we were thinking, could we solve this problem by using sensory input? And what I want to show you is a, is a project we're working on at the moment. And I would actually uh, invite you all to beta test this, because we need your feedback. And after I showed it to you, I give you the address where to download this app. It's called Project Now. And when you start Project Now, it scans your environment for what situation you are in. Like it scans the location, if you're active yeah. or not, yeah. if, you know, if it's raining or not, what kind of what the day it is, is it the holidays or whatever, you know, what's the acoustic environment and so on. And then it says, right now I'm away from home, which is true, I'm not in Berlin, so you know, I'm away. And it says, Pharrell, Pharrell's track, Best Friend, is the perfect music for this situation. 
Now you could say, hmm, Pharrell for this situation, no, not really. So let's say it's a fail. Just click on the fail button, gives me a new track. What the app is doing in the background is learning your musical profile for a specific situation. So this is my musical profile for when I'm away. And um, you have your personal charts. This is the kind of music I listen to when I'm away. And of course, we have much more situations we're tracking. So we're tracking stuff like, are you active or not? Which means, for example, are you jogging? So let's say you're using this application to jog. It automatically detects that I'm jogging and it switches and creates a mix to jogging music. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> and um, so what, what's happening is all you need to do is start this application. It's tracking whatever situation you're in and creates a soundtrack through your whole day. And the idea is basically you don't need to take off your headset ever. Because if you just want to be there and listen to your environment, just switch on the microphone, which will create some feedback now. Oh, sorry, that's not the microphone. And then, ah, yeah, good, nice. <laughs> and then you can actually also hear what's happening around you. So this is, um, this is Project Now. And, um, and I would love to invite you all to, to test it at um, this place. RJDJ me slash now. Uh, sign up. We would love to get your feedback on this. So, but now let's get back to Project Now and the way we're handling this jogging thing. So, you know, it automatically detects that I'm running. And it plays back music that is on your device that is, that is fits in one or the other way to running. But if we really use the capabilities of this device, I think we can go one step further. And that's another thing I want to show to you. So we can actually create a track that works like this. So now there should be some music actually. So yeah, good. So when you're standing still, it's relaxed. Just have some chords, bit of hi-hat in there. But then you start to walk. Then you stop, traffic light, car passes, another car passes, boring cars, an omnibus passes, oh man. And then you start to walk again. And then you're going really fast. Yeah, and you go, no, let's go really fast now. Yeah, no, that's too fast for me, let's go slow again. So basically what's happening is the, the music adjusts not just to your situation, but also to yourself, to whatever you do. And it's actually composed in a way that it takes you, know, you and your environment into account. And it uses basically every sensor that we have on this phone and more. And of course, the question is now, we have these technical possibilities, but will artists and producers actually be able to switch music production into something that supports this? It's a big question. All I can say at this stage is that we are ready. <laughs> but I think, um, and this is the last thing I want, to, I want to say, I think there's actually a bigger topic in here, which is, which is this. So, we all know, and, and I think this is actually related to also what the other speaker said before. We have this thing called Social Graph, which is pretty much dominated by a company called Facebook. 
we now have this new thing called interest graph, which is what are actually people interested in. And we have uh, companies like Pinterest and, of course, Facebook and others who are trying to get into this. But I think what is really relevant on these devices is a new thing that's called situation graph. And to get that, this kind of technology we're using up here, I think is super relevant. And everything we heard today is relevant to get actually the context or the situation of people, of the user, and create a great user experience for that context. So that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. You can um, contact me on Michael at RJDJME. I'm Paiso at uh, Twitter, and the company is called RJDJ. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I have to apologize once again. Yes, Be yes, 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 yes um, you do. Because I think I have to admit that I wasn't ready at that point. Yes, that's yeah, possible, yeah, yes. That's just right. That was the point I tried to make. And if you say, well, it's up to the artists, we are ready. Um, do you have some more advice for artists how to make the first steps? Yeah. No, first of all, I, I have to say it's not that you weren't ready. It's, it's not five true. years back. It, so. No, it's, it's, I think we, are, we find it incredibly hard to get this topic down to a level that actually works for, for everyone. And, and, uh, and I think it is hard in a way, but, but that's, of course, the magic of, of doing these things. How can you actually communicate it and make it simple? And that's never, never the user's fault. It's always <laughs> our fault there. Yeah. Um, for, for musicians, I think the, the transition is going to be a really, a really long transition. It's, it's so hard to get people from existing linear thinking of producing music as a recording, and that's why I called my, my talk here three minutes, I think 20 or 40, because that's the average length of a song, where the song is a total sequ sequential linear thing. And to get that out of people and make the musical experience a more, a more uh, parallel experience is, is super difficult. But we hope that, that companies who are um, producing software for producers and musicians right now will actually also adapt to it and maybe even do something similar that we are doing that would be, I think, super exciting. I'm super excited anyway. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.